Hi guys, keep watching to learn to make this cute paper quilled minion in pigtails. For the top part of the head, I have stuck together 7 paper quilling strips of orange color and I have coiled this into a very tight coil. For the face and the body, I have used the ring coil tool as indicated in the video and I have made a coil with two paper strips attached together. Now I have used yellow for the face and green for the body. To know more about the specifications of the paper strips used for each part, check out my blog post in the link in the description below. So these are the parts that I need to create the main frame of the body. Push the centers of the two tight coils slightly so as to create a dome shaped structure. However, there is a slight difference in the green and the orange. The green one should have a flat bottom because we would be attaching the legs to this part. Next, we need to apply Fevicol on the inner side of both these domes. This is so that it can hold its shape. Now, once you've applied Fevicol, keep it aside till it dries. To make the eye, I use paper strip pieces of four colors, black, brown, white and grey and I make a tight coil with these strips of paper. Again, check out the blog link in the description for the exact specifications. Now that the glue has dried on the dome shaped structures, it's time to put everything together. It really helps a lot if you use a paintbrush to apply Fevicol. Now, if you see in the top left hand side corner of the entire video, I have inset a picture of the finished minion. The reason for doing this is just for a reference for you to see which part I am sticking to what. I am really sorry for having gone out of frame in several parts. I couldn't help it, I was concentrating too much on making the minion. Now that we have the top and bottom halves ready, we can just put it together by applying some more Fevicol. Now don't you think this minion needs a frock? So to make the frock, I only start off with using the quilling mold to get the initial shape. How I make the frock is, I make a loose coil with the green paper strip in such a way that I stick the top part of the previous coil to the bottom part of the paper as I am coiling it and the final result is a cylindrical kind of a shape. I lastly just trim the edges so that there is nothing jutting out. I apply glue on the middle green coil and I stick the frock to this. So it may not stick exactly, you may have to fold the edges in one particular place. Next I stick the eye to the center of the black coil. I now need to make the pigtails, hands and the legs. So to make the pigtails I use an orange paper strip and make with the quilling tool as you can see in the video. I make two such orange cones and two such yellow cones for the hands. Similar to what I did with the domes, I have to apply glue to the inner side of the cones using a paintbrush. This is so that it holds its shape. I make two small tight black coils which I stick to one side of the yellow cone. I also apply Fevicol and slightly flatten the other end of the yellow cone. This is so that it would be easier to stick to the main body. I use a brown paper strip to make a tight coil which I then press and flatten slightly to make the feet. We'll stick the feet towards the end after I've finished all the detailing. I slightly curve and flatten one end of both the orange cones. 
I then stick these to the back of the orange dome shaped coil which forms the hair. I then stick the hands to the two sides of the body as you can see in the video. I am sorry this step was clearly out of frame. So basically I used two small green paper strips and stuck it from the front of the green dress to the back over the arms. I then cut out a small black crescent kind of shape to make a lopsided grin and stuck it to the front below the glasses. To make a fringe I cut out a small piece of yellow paper and I stuck this to the front of the orange coil. I have used some 3D outliners from Fevicryl in pearl metallic copper and silver colors to add some detailing to the finished minion. Last but not the least, I stick the flattened brown coils as feet. So there you go, that's my finished minion and pigtails for you. I sincerely hope that you appreciate the method in spite of all my out of frame shots. Do like, share, comment and subscribe if you did. Thank you, bye bye.